Okay, my outstanding friends, I would be extremely surprised if you didn't know what an iron meteorite is. And what is an iron meteorite, if you don't know? It's a object that comes into our atmosphere from space, heats up, melts, and then resolidifies as iron, which is what you're looking at here. This is iron meteorite. Now, how did this red stuff get in there? Let's back out of here and look a little closer. All right, this is an iron meteorite. When they cut them like this and then they etch them, they come up, they show all of these different crystallization patterns and different materials. Really, these are different metals. Basically, that's what this is, is different metals. And metals smelt and then they become iron and chromium and magnesium and so forth. Now, this is a black spot and this is a red spot. Well, what are they doing in the middle of this iron meteorite? Okay, I have an iron meteorite right here, a little tiny one, and it's, um, you see the magnets on here, how it, it, I, they will become magnetic when they come through the atmosphere and heat up and then cool down to take on a polarity. Sometimes it's extremely strong, sometimes it's not all that strong, but this one's, you know, this is medium. Now, it's not cut, obviously, but we're going to look in here and I'll show you the, uh, all the blood and everything is still in here. I have to do this kind of dark. There's the microscope looking down. It's a telescoping one looking down at that meteorite right there. Now, this is it up in the camera, uh, in the um, screen. Now, I'm kind of far off from it now. I'm going to come right down into it. But you, you're going to be see, able to see all of this black is, is the fabric that was burnt. And these little white fibers are the, the collagen fibers that coat it. And they burnt into the alveoli in a lot of areas. And this is literally red blood that's in here. And then there's going to be black blood as well. And uh, I'll show you that very careful, closely. And then we're going to put a little moisture on there. And you can see it can rehydrate. All right, this is just too outrageous. This is that little lung came through space, the one that has the magnetism and so forth. Now, and I showed you the blood, and I said it has a flap on it. There's the flap right there. Now, what flap am I talking about? I'm talking about that flap right there, which is that flap right there, which is in the microscope, that flap right there. <laughs> this is just outrageous. Now, where do you see it? in an actual living creature. This is just too much. Every day is like Christmas. I am going to name that. You know what I'm going to name it? A Spurlock. <laughs> My name's Spur. That's a Spurlock. Why is it a lock? Because it locks <laughs> it locks the organs into their position. Look, here it is right here. There it is. There's a Spurlock. <laughs> You see it? It's the exact same latch. You want to see another spurlock? Right there. That was on a piece of meat rock here that I have right here. I have to keep the lights down to be able to see all these things good, especially when I have the magnifying glass. But there it is right there. Whoops. I knocked it out of position. I have to find it again. There it is right there. <laughs> you see it? Now, if I put a little water on there, you're going to see some blood come out of there because it's exactly, exactly the same as those. And it came through space. The other ones have blood in them. This has blood in it. I'm sorry, that's just, and the space smells like steak. 1876 Kentucky Meat Shower. Look it up. Tastes just like elk. Now, I'm going to get a real close-up, and we're going to see it, and we're going to get it wet and all kinds of stuff. What I want you to look at is this burnt off fabric leaving these little white fibers and that is a lung right there and that's been DNA tested and CAT scanned and it's human it's chemistry everything's known about it it's very extremely well and it's saturated with iron you can see that in the red blood right there it's it's completely saturated inside now some of them turn like this you see this one over here that one 
was in a, a, a aqueous condition, watery, where it filled all of these holes. These would have been little tiny holes, and it filled them all with water. And the water was filled with silicates, and the silicates started to grow and filled all of those cavities. These were all little tiny holes. These are how you breathe. <gasps> and then all these little holes fill up. And they're the same little holes that are up there. Exact same holes. Alright. Not, but in this particular one, they filled up with silicates. Now the one that I just showed you coming through space that I have here in my shop did not fill up with silicates. It, bur it burnt off. But you can still see the fabric of the... It's called pleura. And it's a rubbery coating that coats the whole lung, so you can go, it can go out and come in and all day long. And it's absolutely saturated with blood. And this one leaked the blood out of it. You see that? That's actual blood that came out of that, this one over here, out of the little tiny spots on it. And, that, you know, I mean, that's blood. Now, when I took the samples of mine, I drilled in here, in inside, to get the dr blood out of there. So I cleaned it up, drilled out, cleaned it all up, and then drilled down deep inside. And when they do the tests of it, they do what's called a negative control. That means, is there just one set of DNA in there, or is there two different types of sets of DNA? Apparently, I believe that's the way that the negative controls work. And it was just one, and it came out of here dense and excellent quality. Obviously, it's like raw blood. Just as you'll see, I could extract blood from that meteorite, no problem whatsoever. And I have another meteorite here, it's just gushing with blood. And all the astronauts say that space smells like steak. See that flap right there? They all have one of those. It's a really red flap. And, and it attaches, like right there, I believe, is where the, the spot. And even the one I have here in my shop has a red flap on it. And I'll show you that. And I have them in every stage of decomposition. You see those two right there? One of them is completely flawless. The other one is completely stripped and is down all to the alveoli. I have one here that's halfway and halfway. This one here. Hold on, let me show you. This one here has half of the pleura still left on it. <laughs> and this is the, the lung part. You see? It's halfway in between the two. And they're all flat like this. You see, flat on like that one side, totally completely flat. And the reason is, is this was in a, a flood. And the reason they preserved and they didn't just rot away is because it was a hot, boiling flood. And this happened during the time when Venus almost hit Earth. Velikowski recorded this, and it's recorded in every culture on Earth, that it literally boiled the oceans, burnt the skies, combusted, absolute tragedy. And that was the deluge. I mean, they are all flat as a pancake. I mean, flat. Even my buddy Caesar here, my goose. I live here. This is Caesar. Caesar Augustus. And here's his feathers right there. There's a feather pattern in the back of his head. That's a goose. They have feathers. And this side is perfect. His eye, his beak. And if you really look at it, and I have, trust me, I've looked at it very well. And I've looked at the throat and everything here, which is a different... This is basalts inside. The outside is what they call felspar. Felspar is aluminum silicates, and they bond with fascia and all of the collagens. Collagens coat your, your body. They're your skin, they're your hair, they're your, your uh, I mean, everywhere. Every single membrane is made of collagens. So that's why in this flood, they bonded right away. And they sealed the organs, and wherever they could seal, they sealed. And this, and you see the back, flat as a pancake. All right, they, they all died in this flood. I have so much of this stuff, it's just phenomenal. And it is anatomically exact, and there is every bit of evidence that is factual. And I have done all this stuff. I've done all of the chemistry. I've done everything. I've had the anatomy. I've done everything. 
CAT scans, DNA, so don't tell me it's not real. And this is another lung, and they preserve in a whole variety of ways depending upon where they are. You see that? There's a all the entryway in the back of the lung there, the big spot. Now this one here, I got another one here. So here. This one here deteriorated all the way. That spot is that spot right there. It's gone. It's, this one, all of the alveoli have emptied. All right, but it was a lung, and it's, it's saturated with blood. And I'll show you this in a microscope too. And this one actually has some crystals starting to grow in the vugs. They call those vugs. And the crystals grow where there was blood. So, it's, it's, uh, it's beyond a belief of the average mind, but it is true. And this came through space, and we're going to look at it right now, really close up in the microscope. And you'll see the blood is still there. Just like the iron meteorite that they cut down the center, and it had the, iron, or the uh, vein in the artery. Now, I don't know whether that's a liver or a heart, but it's certainly not... Well, it's, it's one of the organs. Let me put it that way. And I'll show you the organ system. Well, let me show you that, and then we'll go forward. All right, this is circulatory system. And you see down the red side, and then you see the blue side. That's the arteries and the veins. Arteries run down and service all, of, and, and they wash their way across to the vein side to come back up. The heart pumps the red and the blue blood at the same time. One of them goes out, and one of them comes in. So it sucks it up, and then the rest of them pump back out. Now, the arteries have no restrictions whatsoever. They drain right out. They drain right out. These have clamps, the blue ones. These are the veins, and they have clamps, so that only the blood can go back to the heart and lungs and kidney and the liver and all that. Otherwise, because it's already used up. Once it goes down here, it just freely flows everywhere, 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 everywhere. Once it gets sucked back up, whole different story. Once it hits this area here, 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 all that, it can only go this direction. Now, here's your lungs. They're saturated with blood, but they're also saturated with holes. The holes everywhere. Your heart has chambers of black and, well, it's, um, you know, your oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. But it's still all uh, basically iron. Blood is almost all iron. Now, then you have your pancreas and your liver and your kidneys and your everything down here is all organ systems and every one of those systems basically the heart is really good at separating and staying really solid and so are the lungs when you see the iron meteorites of lungs not necessarily iron they call them chondrules and all kind of things and they have all kind of little holes in them because that's where the lungs had holes all right, there it is down in the microscope, and it's um, here it is up as it's drying out. Now, those are all alveoli. Now that that's been cooked off; it's been burnt off. Yes, absolutely, but not destroyed. And let me see if I can focus this in a little better. You see it? You see all the, the holes, those, and, and then the, all these little white fibers, I talked to you about that. Those are the fabric that held this thing together in its plura when it was, you know, good. And here's that flap right there. There's that fascia latch right there. There is exactly it. And it is saturated with blood. And you see the little line right down the middle of it? You see this? Oh, I gotta get it locked in. You see that little line right down the center? I'm gonna show you another one right here. There's the line right down the center. And that is basically, these are rocks. These ones are terrestrial. Well, this one's alive, or was alive very shortly before that shot. This one here is, is, uh, is this one here. Hold on. See it? That's this one. And it's covered with fascia, and that's the latch. Now, this is when it first came out of the ground. It was like flawless. This was 10 more or more years ago. 
all this stuff goes way back. I've had this stuff done and tested and CAT scan and DNA and yada 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 yada. Tis what it is. Okay, what you want to understand is the metals that are in meteorites are basically of a similar nature. They're nickel, uh, magnesium, primarily iron, 95% iron. Now, what do you see in between all these little vugs and voids? You see metal. Right? You see iron. You see different metals. So, what would you have to assume? There was some kind of fabric here that had holes in here, and something was in the holes. It was not metal. Well, guess what it is? <laughs> it was a lung. And I have one right here in my microscope right there. And here it is up here in the microscope. Now, this is from Earth. This is not a terrestrial. I mean, this is a terrestrial one. It's not from space. Now, you see all those little holes, I mean, all those little colored spots in there? Those are the vugs where the air entered. Now, you see how it's shiny in spots? That's where it was caught. You see all the dull-looking, brownish-looking stuff? That is where this one would have had iron. Had this heated up like the other one, all of that rusty looking brown stuff would be iron now. It would be identical to that right there. This basically would be the same. Alright, so we would be looking basically at the same thing, only instead of the brown rusty stuff in there, you would see all these fabric of, of metals. But this is a terrestrial one. Now I have terrestrial ones, I have other ones from space too. I have this one here which was, uh, came through space, and this was, you know, I, I, I have so much stuff, This it, one day is not enough. We need a lot of time on this, a lot of time to go through this. You see that red? You know what red is. <laughs> we got some looking to do.